We have a brother Osama Dakdok. Maybe he'd like to join us. Hey, brother Osama, we are live on air. You'd like to join us? Okay, let me let me put you in the speakers. Let me put you in the speakers so everybody can hear you. All right. Can you speak louder? Yes, sir. Hello, brother CB, and how is everybody in your chat room? We are doing fine and uh, good to hear from you. You know, I just uh, texted to brother Osama because uh, somebody sent me a message saying that uh, some some people try to harm you. On the, uh, I, I quickly I share this with you on June 6th. I was on uh, DC uh, with the rally, obviously, with everybody. We have a wonderful day sharing uh, so much about Islam with all the people I talk to. Uh, you get hundreds of uh, brochures, and the small red and green booklets teach about Islam and um, how to find Jesus faith. And it was awesome, rally. Mr. President uh, Trump uh, did his speech, and then we walked to the Capitol, and that's when we found out. All was going on there, so I decided to just go ahead and leave, take my car and head the road. But I had with me a friend from uh, Minnesota, so I have to wait on him. While I'm waiting, uh, next to my car where I parked on 3 and K, if you're familiar with Washington, D.C., 3 is two blocks on the north side of the monument, and K is like five, six blocks south. Anyway, so we uh, were parking our car there, and there was uh, my friend have a truck. The truck have um, signs uh, about, you know, abortion and uh, about gay and lesbian and about uh, uh, the Ten Commandments. It's, it's a godly uh, ministry he does travel all over the country uh, whenever there's a chance to tell you about repent and do us right. And uh, we thankful for the life of every person. Like, yeah, but sign also uh, that, uh, you know, please life matters. So it is uh, literally a wonderful science all over the truck. Pictures speak for thousand words. Mm -hmm. And uh, while sitting in uh, the car next to it, uh, these uh, got maybe uh, the total of roughly 12, maybe 13 guys start throwing rocks on that uh, truck. Uh -oh. Well, I came out of the car and I said, hey, what you guys are doing? And I, as I yelled at them, and I saw the little children because they look like kids, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and the owner of the truck heard me, so he ran quickly, and we moved him from damaging his truck to across the street. Well, while they're across the street, they still throw rocks from across the street. I took out of my car and said, please, guys, leave. We did not do anything to harm you. Leave us alone. Go. And uh, one of them was, uh, you know, a deep voice. He started telling, you know, garbage language to me, F you, and this and that. I said, well, God bless you, brother, and I appreciate your you know, what you said mm -hmm. here, God bless you, go on your way, we're, we're, we're not going to start a fight here. Well, I sit in, in the car and I hear zip, and guess what? A rock broke my windows in my car. So I, I went outside to talk with this guy. I said, what, what do you do this for now? As I walk across the street, there's two double streets. So I go maybe, I don't know how many yards. Uh, two streets, two ways, and a media in the middle. I realized these are not children. They may be three or four kids, teenagers, but they're all. Uh, they are black men who are, I guess, late 20, early 30s. Mm. And uh, no kidding, they were about to surround me to beat me physically. Obviously, I don't have the strength to fight even one of them, not all of them. And then the Lord sent two guys I didn't even know from Adam, two white guys who ran towards me to stop them from physically harm me. And somehow these guys started running across the corner. I didn't know why. But they all go around the corner, and I walk, and I was on the phone with 911 because I was reporting that somebody threw a rock on my window, broke my glass. Mm -hmm. And at the moment I turn around, Brother CB, that's when I hear pop, 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 seven, eight bullets. Well, one of these bullets hit one of these guys in his left legs. He fell on the ground, and the lady on the, on the phone, she said, is this, is this shot, is this bullet shot I hear? I said, yes, man. Anybody hurt? I said, yeah. One guy is, uh, is uh, laying on the street. Well, when I saw the shooting CB, it happened quickly. It was like three seconds, three or four seconds. There is only a tree. The tree is six inch, seven inch round. So I put my both hand on my head and I nailed down in the tree. Now there's a tree to cover my head. But obviously the tree could not protect me. But the Lord is the one who protect me. Well, after they did the shooting, they ran. Well, the uh, gentleman, Alan Hoyle, who is the, uh, does this ministry, uh, street ministry, uh, he, uh, 
he uh, ran and he carried that kid, that guy, was well, maybe maybe in his 20, uh, and was another guy to the other side of the street. And that's when we found out he was shot in his foot. Uh, quickly, the, there was a good maybe 12 cars, uh, 11, 12 cars, police cars were there. A uh, helicopter was above us, uh, two ambulance and uh, two fire trucks. The whole place was down there at K and 3 Street. Well, the police came, look at my car, and said, don't touch it until we get the bullet. I said, a bullet? What bullet? I thought my window was broke with a rock. He said, no. You see this hole in the middle of your glass? I said, yeah. He said, that is a bullet. That's not a, uh, a rock. So obviously, they shot a, a, a bullet on me. They did not hurt me. They only break the glass. And somehow, and they also hurt this other white guy whom, uh, who was uh, trying to save me. And uh, brother, quite experienced. And uh, I left, see, uh, I left like around seven o'clock, even the curfew was seven o'clock. But since the police and the detectives were there, I was, I have to wait until they finish the paperwork and taking pictures, blah, blah, blah. So they first told me, CB, they captured one of these guys. But okay. since surprise, surprise, two hours later, they said they did not capture anybody. So I do not know who's covering for who or what's happening, but all I know that I was uh, that close to get a bullet in my car, but it did not hurt me. And I was close to uh, get a uh, a bullet face to face within like six, seven feet from these guys. Has happened quickly, uh, and the Lord has protected my life, and the Lord also protected that uh, uh, white gentleman who came to my rescue, and he was wounded for me. I believe he is wounded for me. This is a story. What happened on the six, uh, between right. three o'clock and uh, seven o'clock? All right. Well, I, because I just uh, saw the text message and uh, I text you, and that's why you know. Anyway, you know, uh, always there is bad people, good people everywhere, you know, and uh, what we can do. I mean, this is how it is. I you know, you know what's amazing, CB Vicky, my wife, she called lots of people, ask for prayer for that trip, and that's not usual because I mean, you know, I'm on the road. 24 7 all year long so we don't pray for my traveling specifically but she literally asked the church on sunday to be praying for me and my brother uh, uh 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 kent who was from minnesota staying with me in my house we made the trip together and the church prayed for us and on that day there's a lot of people praying as a matter of fact some people called me the following day and they said how was your trip i said uh, was good uh, i said why because i thought maybe they heard about the shooting he said, well, the Lord just put on our heart to pray for you. As Vicky asked us, send us email or whatever she did. I think she sent email to everybody. And we will pray for you yesterday. And I said, well, praise God, because if God is with us, who can be against us? They, uh, these guys tried to harm me, but the Lord protected me, and I'm still alive. So I don't take <coughs> prayer lightly, because we cannot do anything without prayers. I mean to that. Well, I'm glad that you're uh, in good condition. You know, I just uh, wanted to be sure. And, uh, you, you know, we just started our program. And today our topic is about 